511 Defender Flex Pants. People have been asking 511 to come out with a pair of jeans for a long time because they wanted the functionality of some of 511's more tactical pants in a very normal looking pair of jeans or normal looking pair of pants. And this is the result of those requests and they did a fantastic job designing these. As two initial plugs for these, let me just say that I, 511 sent me these two, the jeans and the brown ones, and I liked them so much that I went and bought these on my own. As a second plug, I was wearing these jeans on a date and the girl not knowing anything about my tactical interests of sorts said, well, th those are nice jeans. What kind are they? As if they were some kind of designer jean. Turns out they're tactical jeans, who knew? And really, unless you get up close and you see some of the very small 511 branding on these things, you would not know that these are not normal pants because they look and essentially are normal pants with a few improved features. They come in both jeans and regular pants. The jeans come in two colors a dark wash indigo, which is these here, and they have some of these faded striations down into some fading down here, and then a regular indigo, which is a, a darker blue. And I've seen in some of the reviews, people have said, especially the darker colors, when you wash them, the color can run and bleed onto some of the other clothes. So be careful, wash them in cold water, or wash them with dark clothes, especially initially until you get some of that color out of them, if that's going to happen. I don't think I've had the problem with these, but people have complained about it, so be aware of that. The regular pants come in four colors, burnt, which is a medium dark brown here, volcanic, which is a charcoal. There is also stone, which is khaki, and oil green, which I haven't seen them in person, but it looks like it's a dark green with a hint of a gray cast to it. They also come in two fits, a slim fit, which is these two here, and a straight leg, which is the charcoal ones here, the volcanic, and I'll show you the difference between the two of those in a little bit. Price-wise, they are all the exact same, no matter the jean or the pant or whatever size or style you want, they are all $69.99. Sizes, the waist come in a 28 to 44, the length comes in a 30 to 36 length, and of note, with 511 length sizing, the waist is pretty true to size. These are all 32 30s. I wear 32s in all the pants that I get, and these are true to size on the waist. 511 pants, though, seem to run short. I have a about a 30-inch inseam, and after washing these a couple times, they are now 29 inch inseams. And that seems to be true with all of my 511 pants. Some of my brands of tactical pants run a little bit long. 511s for me always traditionally run a little bit short by about an inch or so. So just be aware of that if you're kind of on the border, get them a little bit longer than shorter because you can shorten them, but you can't really add length to them. Fabric on them, the jeans are a 10 ounce mechanical stretch denim, 76% cotton, 24% polyester with some Lycra T400 Tough Max, if that means anything to you. And then the pants are an 8.8 .8 ounce stretch cavalry twill, 66% cotton, 31% polyester, 3% elastane. And they both have stretch to them, both horizontally and vertically, although I think it's more horizontal. Same with the pants. And aside from that, the waists also have some stretch to them, so there's a little bit of give there, but the waists don't have any telescoping or anything like that. The waists are fitted, again, just like a normal pair of pants would be. Now, because the pants are all designed exactly the same as far as the pocket layout, other than them being either slim fit or straight leg, I'm going to use the jeans to show you how they're designed. Up on the top here, as I mentioned, the waist is fitted, but it does stretch a little bit. So if you wanted to do inside the waistband carry, there's a little bit of room for that. But again, you might buy a size up just to allow a bit of extra space for that holster. Belt loops, there are four in the front and four in the back, and these are two inch belt loops. So they'll hold a nice wide belt and if you have a Cobra buckle, it might even fit that through there without you having to undo the whole thing. There's a nice contrast stitching again, like a very normal pair of jeans all around it. The button here, it's a brass button. It does have 511 branding on that. And there's a few small other areas of 511 branding here. The tabs here, there's a very subtle 511 sign right there. Some, someone complained about this in a review saying it looked like they'd sat in something. I don't think anyone's even going to notice this thing. And then on the back here, there's also a 511 little uh, tag on the back of the pocket. But on the front, there's a brass YKK zipper with a 511 brand in there. This is the same zipper on all of other 511 pants. It is, if you're interested, it's a locking zipper. So when the tab is up, I've never needed this feature that I can think of, but when the tab is sticking out, it will open, you can pull it open. When the tab is either down or up, it's locked into position. That way your pants don't come unbuttoned, I guess. One thing that I've noticed with 511 pants in general is that because this zipper tab is small, sometimes it can get tucked down in there when you unzip your pants and you 
have to work just a little bit. It's not a big thing, but compared to other pants that have a little bit bigger zipper pulls, it can happen. On the inside of the pants, there is nothing fancy in here because they are, again, just a normal pair of pants. No secondary closure, which I appreciate. Don't like those anyway, and normal pants don't really have them. The pocket layout. Normal jean-style pockets here. These are seven inches deep, just to show you. Uh, six and a half. Six and a half there. And then the coin pocket here, what a normal pair of jeans would be coin pocket size. This is five inches deep. Such that if you wanted to put a knife in it, paramilitary two, you can clip that in there, no problem. It even goes in there, it will disappear in there. If you wanted to put a magazine, this is an M&P compact magazine, that will fully disappear down in there. I mean, and you can put any number of things in there. But if you put something longer in there, because this is right where your legs are going to bend, this may run into your hips, the anterior part of your hip, and could cause, impede a little bit of movement there. So just be aware of that. But otherwise, that's a nice feature there. The rear pockets, again, very normal looking traditional pair of jeans. Two patch pockets here. There's nothing special about these pockets. There's the nice contrast stitching on them. There's the four belt loops back here. But one of the features of the back, the extra pockets on these, is hidden on this yoke seam right here. And it is right here, and there's one on each side. And these pockets, yeah, I suppose if you want, you could put an AR magazine in them, 30 round magazine. I don't really carry one of those for the most part. For me, what I typically put in them is my cell phone, a Galaxy S8 Plus, and it fits down in there with a little bit of room to spare. And if you have a, a shirt that's untucked, it's going to cover this. No one's going to know it's there. Same with a magazine for that matter. Depth-wise of these pockets, they are just shy of six inches, right about six inches. And width of them, six inches by about three and a quarter or so. So I, I initially I was concerned about these before I put these pants on. I thought, well, if I have my cell phone back there, am I going to be sitting on it? I was concerned about that but they work surprisingly well. I can sit down because it's kind of up and off to the side enough, you don't sit on them and it's not a problem at all. They're super comfortable, very easy access to getting things in and out of, not a problem at all. Love that feature in the placement of those pockets. Moving down the front, there's no gusseting to the crotch because generally normal pants don't have a gusseted crotch. And then the bottom of them is just a regular bottom to a pair of jeans. There's nothing fancy in there, no handcuff key pockets or anything like that. Just standard bottoms there. If need be, you could shorten these, you could hem them and just get some matching thread or if you don't wanna do that, just put some navy thread down there. Now let me show you the difference between the slim fit and the straight leg. The burnt ones here on top are a slim fit and the volcanic ones that I have underneath are the straight leg. Lined up the waist, lined up the crotches right here, and then I'm lining up the inseam. And you can see as you go down, there's no wrinkles in them. As you start moving down them, the straight leg is straight, whereas the slim fit tapers in some. And then when you get to the bottom, it's an inch narrower on the bottom. If you want the measurement, it's about seven and a half seven and three eighths or so, and eight and a half. So up at the top, up by the waist, it's right about even. And then as you start getting down, it just starts tapering in. So there is, these don't feel super tight, but there is definitely a little bit more room in the straight leg. Some people call these a boot cut. I don't know. I think they're just, as, as, the, as the name implies, straight leg. Let's compare them now both side to side. On the left in the charcoal, I have the straight leg, and on the right in the jeans, I have the slim fit. And just to show you how some things might print in the pocket, I've got a few things at my wallet, keys, knife, and flashlight. When I turn to the side here, you can see those keys do print a little bit on the front right pocket, but not too horribly. Looking at the side, looking at the back, they fit pretty similarly, other than maybe just a little bit more space down at the bottom. You can get your phone out and very easy back into that rear pocket. You can get your knife out, whatever you might have in that pocket. But if you try and put something long in that coin pocket, when you go to bend your leg or sit down, it's going to get stuck there and the, the bend in your hip, and it's just not going to do well. Otherwise, they're both fairly similar, other than a little bit of a tapered fit on the slim fit.
Just a few closing thoughts on these pants. I've been wearing these now for about six months and I absolutely love them. Like I said, so much that I went and bought a pair on my own. The jeans, even though they are technically a 10 ounce versus an 8.8 .8 ounce, as I mentioned before, the fabric on these feels a little bit lighter. And I think because of that, the jeans, to me, feel a little bit looser than this slightly, what feels like a heavier weight twill. It's a small thing, but I thought that initially I had a straight leg and a slim fit. Turns out these are both slim fit. I didn't realize until I got these and realized that these were both the same. But to me, the jeans just feel a little bit looser. Also, I think because they feel a little bit looser when I put the cell phone in the back, it feels like it's not quite as snug there. It's, it's comfortable on all of them, but on the jeans, it feels just a little bit more comfortable because the material is a little bit softer as compared to this twill. They're, they're all great pants. I don't have complaints about them. It's just some things I've noted, but otherwise, check them out. Like I said, all great pants. Buy one every color. I think I might buy some more myself. The 5'11 Defender Flex Pants. Check them out.